This is a Pinpoint Weather 12 Severe Weather Alert. Well, good morning. We do have a winter storm warning in effect that starts tonight through tomorrow. For some, this could be our biggest snowstorm of the year. We will talk about that in just a second. I first did want to say hello to my friends at Guterres Elementary School in Bristol. We had a great time. The third graders asking some terrific questions. In fact, one student asked a question about hurricanes that was so complicated. I'm still doing my research and trying to figure it out, but I promise I will get back to you. But thanks again to the third graders here. All right, let's move on to our storm. And this evening, the snow arrives between 7 and 9 p.m. Likely some mixing terrain along the south coast and sleet, and that continues off and on overnight. But I would say the one change over the past 12 to 24 hours has been that it likely will be more of a snowy scenario for a good part of the area rather than a rainy one. Slick roads likely Monday morning, even if you're not in a zone that gets a tremendous amount of snow, this will be a real mess for the Monday morning commute and a lot of people likely driving through snow covered roads to certainly allow a lot of extra time for the ride to work on Monday morning and we'll stay tuned for uh, some closings and cancellations that may end up occurring. 33 right now in Glendale, 33 Smithfield, Providence you're at 33, 34 Newport, 36 in Narragansett and we're at 37 right now in Smithfield. Winds right now out of the northwest at 8 miles an hour in Smithfield, 5 in Providence, 14 so a little bit of a breeze in westerly right now with dry conditions on live pinpoint Doppler 12. Beautiful view of the Newport Pell Bridge this morning. Good visibility. And North Situate, you are in one of the snowier zones and we'll show you where you fit in on the snow forecast map in just a second. Nice morning here at Narragansett. A little snow on the sidewalk, so be mindful of that if you're walking along the seawall this morning. So here is our storm. It's rather disorganized right now, but eventually it turns into a center of low pressure. Initially, it looked like it may go to our west, which would have brought in a rainier scenario, but now it looks like it's more offshore with a colder snow your scenario. So 8, 9 o'clock, likely it's snowing for a good part of the area, maybe a little mixing to rain along the coast. And then overnight, notice the uh, rain sleet line starts to mix towards the south coast for places like near, uh, Newport, Narragansett. And then watch what happens towards the early morning hours of Monday. This particular model brings this mixing line all the way up into Providence, and that could indeed happen. Right now, though, it looks like if that were to happen, it wouldn't be very long because look at that cold air collapse again back through Providence. So 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, likely still snowing for the capital city and much of our area on the drive to work and then finally starting to wrap this between uh, 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning when the accumulating snow should be over with at that point. So right now we're thinking 5 to 8 inches for most of the viewing area, 1 to 3 along the immediate south coast. Now you only will have to get a few miles away from the water, I believe, to get into this 3 to 6 inch zone or maybe even the 5 to 8 inch zone. This is the trickiest part of the forecast right in here. How far north does that mixing line really get? And of course we will be adjusting and tweaking that forecast potentially throughout the day. All right, temperatures today, upper 30s to around 40 degrees, and then overnight down to around freezing, certainly cold enough for the snow to stick. And then by uh, Monday afternoon, when the precipitation is over, it's not a bad afternoon, although a little bit windy, temperatures in the upper 30s. Now watch what happens Monday night to Tuesday morning. Temperatures come crashing down, and they will stay down for several days, so a cold weather pattern taking over. Right now it looks like a cold and quiet weather pattern, although... Wednesday, there is something trying to lurk just offshore, so that is something we'll keep an eye on, but we're going to leave the forecast dry for now. One thing I did want to emphasize for tomorrow is that it's not raining and snowing and sleeting the whole day. In fact, the bulk of that is over with by 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, and we may even get into a little bit of sunshine here by Monday afternoon with those temperatures in the upper 30s. Again, though, look at this cold pattern taking over low temperatures down into the teens. High temperatures only in the upper 20s for the middle of the week. You can get more updates on our weather blog or weather now section. I'm updating that right now. I'll be posting a new update shortly, and also the WPRI Pinpoint Weather app, a great resource for the storm on the way tonight. Now, 